he gets rid of a counter and he gets rid of junk. So now you've taken those two. Let us suppose now that I happen to have the third ace of spades, right? Let's say I have it. I play the 10. Now, if this wasn't the rules of pinochle, you don't want to cut your partner's good ace, do you? You really don't want to do that, but this is pinochle. You have to do that, okay? You can't throw this underneath. That would be nice to shorten the suit. You're forced to do it. Why not take it with a counter? And look at this. You get rewarded because this one comes down. Principle number one. Principle number two. Let us suppose that he did not have that ten of spades. Let us suppose he had this, right? Now, what... What, what kicks in? Suppose that I had chose to trump with the ace, right? Let's just say I did. I wouldn't because I'm going to try to slip the king through. He has to throw a trump underneath me. He can't beat the ace of diamonds, sure. Don't you think he'd like to take a discard? Mm-mm. He has to throw a trump. He's going to throw a non-counter. If I try to trump the ace of spades cheaply with the king... What's he going to play? What's his proper play? He can't, he can either play the ace or the ten. He's not going to play the ace, he's going to play the ten. What a haul. Four counters.